Hello, I'm back. Happy Watcher. Um, yes, I'm in the same clothes, same day, different time. Yeah. Well, this is a s ultra mini haul, and you'll see why I'll call it that in a minute. But let me first say, before I best remember, in a previous video, I said I could not find my perfect nude, so I just kind of stuck with a gold that I found a while back. Well, anyway, I found it. And yes, I found it in the NYC collection. Bam! There it goes. There it goes. And it's called, let's see. And this is a very big tube. Um, this must be the, a new packaging. I don't know if it's for a particular color line. I don't know. I've not seen them like this. But I found this in Walmart for a lot cheaper than the skinnier tubes. Um, in the hair places, so I don't know, but anyway, it's called Extra Large Latte, and I don't know if you can see this crazy lighting that I'm having that I'm still kind of working on. It's not doing it justice, but I am loving it. I'm loving it, and I have this um, NYX the pencil. I already had this, but I don't know. I never found any use for it until this came on. These two are perfect, and this is called what is this called? Eh. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe not. I did have the name. Oh, it's called Brown. Duh. Uh, the number on it is 802. And it's right there. And I just. I didn't do it this time, but normally I do the, excuse me, I'm looking in the mirror but, um, behind me as well, uh, the inner line of my lips, and then I put this on and rub it together really good like this. But I didn't do that. It, it's, it's banging like that, and it's good even on its own. So, yes, I'm, I'm stoked, excited. I found my perfect nude that matches and complements my skin complexion. Next, I, now, you know I'm not the makeup guru and I do not like spending a lot on my makeup, but I went ahead and took a chance and purchased off of HSN and I don't know if that's coming. It, to me, it comes in backwards, but when I play the video back, it, it turns right. So, yeah, yeah. It's the Cha Cha Tint by Benefits. And at first, I just thought it was a, a cheek tint. And I'm loving this a cheek tint. I do have some powder blushes that's in the shade. But, um, you know, for us oily girls, we, we tend to kind of eat blush and and powders and things they don't tend to stay on a long time this does the trick and mind you when you open it up it looks like this almost like a nail polish it's, it's uh like that you just put a little bit on and you rub it in and it looks very natural um this is also a lip tint i have tried it as both um, I'm alright with it as a limb tint. I, I really prefer it just as a um, cheek tint. Um, and it comes in the little box that I showed you. And it comes with also the little pamphlet that kind of tells you how you can use it. Like so. And I'm going to say that this is a keep. You know, I spent maybe like $30 on it. Um, not something I normally do, especially for a new makeup that I don't know if I'm going to like or not. But the good thing is dealing with HSN or some of the other ch shopping networks with makeup, you can, uh, return if you're not satisfied. So that's good. Next, one of my favorites -da, is this one. This is another one by Benefits. It's called Sunbeam and it is a golden bronze complexion highlighter oh sorry yeah and it comes with a little pamphlet as well <clears throat> to tell you about you know where you can put it all the little places and then um 
you know, I kind of watched some demonstrations as well that told some places to put it that's not on the pamphlet. So, and this is it, what it looks like. And I'm loving this. In fact, I'm loving this more than I'm loving this one. So, yeah, um, I'm definitely, I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, at first I thought, oh, gosh, it's not showing up. But you, it, it is buildable, and that's a good thing. Um, I love it underneath my brows. I love it over top. I love it on the bridge of my nose. I love it here. I, I do kind of like a crease V here and highlight kind of like right in there. It, it leaves it a nice golden, bronzy shimmer, not bronzy like brown but you just get this golden um undertone that's really good it looks like this when you open it up it looks kind of more like a beige and it looks very matte oh but when you put it on let me swatch it for you in fact i should have swatched the other one and i'll do so here in a minute for you it looks like that but then you kind of rub it in a little bit and you see oh oh yes the light caught that good yes that I am loving it and let it dry a little bit and it's ah, yes I'm loving it I, I paid I think 32 for this one this to me and even though to me that's that's a little much uh, I think was worth it because this can this bottle will last me forever and ever because you know I don't put makeup on every day I don't even um, I don't even put a lot of too much of anything on, on a daily basis. And I'm gonna rub that in for you. And you see that it's just very subtle and I like that. Th this would be um, a tint that I would wear, you know, kind of like just one of those laid back days but you just don't wanna be bare faced, uh, you know, cause your face will look too blah but you want something on it and you just don't wanna look made up, you know, that, that makeup, non-makeup look this would be the perfect thing to use for that and I'm kind of off with a makeup non-makeup look the next one is it's by benefits too and it's called ooh la la lift now I'm the, the verdict is not in on this um, it's supposed to be a intense under eye brightening booster now I do have that on right now um, and I've had it on now for a couple hours. It it tends to kind of have to melt into my skin because when I first put it on, and even though I rub it in really good, it tends to look a little ashy on me. And I don't know why. I don't know if I'm putting too much or what it is, but it does come in a tube like this. And it looks, the the product is pink. It um, That is what you're seeing through the container. And it comes in a little felt wand like that and I'll swatch that and it's like that when you first put it on and then you just kind of tap it in or you rub it in and it's supposed to also you know brighten under the eye as well as have some aging benefits to it and you can't really see because it, it, it's not really supposed to have a color but um it's a little something there. I'm the you know, I'm still debating whether to keep this. This one was I believe thirty dollars as well. And for something I'm not too sure on, I don't know if I really wanna uh keep it and I'm not sure on it. Um, you know, maybe a, you know a an uh highlighter or a dark circle concealer with some aging benefits, but you know I'm I'm not sure. We'll, we'll come back to this to see if it's a keeper or not. So the, the the verdict is still not out on that. Next is I was gifted this around Christmas time and I didn't put it in my last haul. Um just because I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> it was in my shower. So yeah, and I know all you ladies out there who love Bath and Body Works know about the Japanese cherry blossom. Yes, I got the shower gel, and I got the um, body spray, and I do have the lotion. Uh, hmm, let's see. Yeah, it's somewhere around, but let me see if I can get it real quick for you guys. That I did forget. Yeah, got it. And I got 
the whole set. So yeah, this I use, um, I have a scent that I use for my everyday, which is by Philosophy, the Pure Grace. Love, love, love. Um, I love this too. My husband loves it as well. I think it's it's a nice scent and it's something different than he's used to see, uh, smelling on me every day. So yeah, um, I use this as my nighttime scent. Yeah, so since he loves it so much. So next is, and I told you guys I am a big uh, Etsy consumer. And I got this, uh, huh. I don't have the name of the Etsy shop, sorry for that, but I'm going to hold it up anyway. And you can look it up on Etsy. And yeah, this was a little expensive. Um, and I probably will not repurchase it for one because it's a little expensive. It was, um. Uh, $20 and as you can see I've used half of it and I've used it once on my head once on my husband's head uh, two I probably will not purchase it because it it does define my hair just like this I don't have that in there now but it leaves it extra crunchy yeah extra crunchy there's no moisture to it um, at all and then after the crunch there is a flake that uh, starts um, this would probably be good to use maybe with something else I mean it's not what not it will get used but I would definitely not repurchase it it smells good it's all natural it has marshmallow roots flaxseed uh, excuse me pomegranate scent so it is a it is an all-natural product and and it may work in someone else's head um, that doesn't mind the crunch and maybe can figure out a way not to um, have the flakes. Maybe if um, I add a little oil or, or even a little oil to my hair, the flakiness would go away. Um, now my daughter, um, I'm going to try it in her hair this weekend because she likes that crunch. She likes that stiff curl um, thing just because she once her hair gets to that, once it's defined, she wants it to stay that way for a length of time. But she has goo blahs, a hair, yes, that is a word, goo blahs, yeah. Um, so that might be um, why it works. Why, well, I don't know if it works for her, but why she may like it. Even if she does, uh, she better like it while it lasts because I will not repurchase it. It is a little expensive. Uh, it says 240 mLs, and personally, that is not... Um, it's not enough ounces for the price to me. It does not even out. It's not a good uh, price bargain to me. So, with that being said, yeah, I won't repurchase that. Oh, um, I don't know if you noticed my bracelets, but I got these off of Etsy too. And yeah, there's stuff I could easily make myself, but I just thought they were dainty and cute. And, they had, and what really impressed me was they came with the little inspirational cards to tell what each one meant. And I can tell you off the bat, the black one did not come from the same seller. Um, there can the little knot here. It's a little. It's considered an eternity love knot, and it comes as a set, like you know, for a little couple. And it came in a little brown envelope. Ooh, don't mind the little specks on the envelope. Sometimes I can be a messy Marvin, but but it did come with the wrapped around this little card, and then it came with the wish as well. And I thought those were really cute, just something little, you know, dainty, romantic. And so I took mine and tied it on my hubby, and he tied mine on me. And the other two, the green one is um, I know I have the heart upside down. But it's really to face me because it really is supposed to remind me about peace and balance. And um, it comes with your inspirational peace and balance card. Which I don't kind of really need to be reminded. But sometimes in those moments when, you know, folks really working up. Yeah, you can just hoosah. Yeah. And then the red one 
with the little dragonfly is this one. And I thought that was really nice and cute. Sometimes in those Mr. Moments we need reminders. So yeah. And they came really packaged cute like in these little paper envelopes and the cards with them and then the business cards. They were really, really neat. I liked, I liked the presentation. It was very nice. Sometimes, as I tell my kids sometimes, presentation sometimes is everything. You have the least little thing and people are, can just be impressed by the um, presentation and, and want to buy. So, as, that's it. That's how quick. That's how fast. And um, that's it in my haul. Till next time, happy watching. Mwah.